हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 3 ऑफ क्लास 8th ऑफ ज्योग्राफी दैट इज मिनरल्स एंड पावर रिसोर्सेज सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स एंड हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन पार्ट 1 सेज नेम एनी थ्री कॉमन मिनरल्स यूज्ड बाय यू एवरी डे सो द आंसर इज Three common minerals used by us in day-to-day -day life are copper, iron and salt. Further, second part says, what is an ore? Where are the ores of metallic minerals generally located? So the answer is, an ore is a rock from which minerals are mined. Ores of metallic minerals are found usually in igneous and metamorphic rock formation. Further, Third part says name two regions rich in natural gas resources. So the answer is Jaisalmer and Krishna Godavari Delta. Further, fourth part says which source of energy would you suggest for? First part says rural area. So the answer is for rural area, social energy and wind energy are feasible options. There are not many high-rise buildings to act as obstacles for sunlight or to break momentum of wind. Second, coastal area. So the answer is, for coastal area, wind energy and tidal energy are good choices. Further, third part is, arid regions. So the answer is, there, wind energy and solar energy are feasible for reasons similar to rural area. Now, fifth part says, Give five ways in which you can save energy at home. So the answer is, first, promoting the use of solar energy as much as possible. Second, using biogas as cooking fuel. Third, drying clothes in sunlight instead of electric dryers to prevent emissions and unnecessary use of electricity. Fourth, avoiding misuse of electricity, switching off fans and lights when not in use. Fifth, using pressure cookers for cooking. Further moving to our question number two which says, take the correct answer. First part is, which one of the following is not a characteristic of minerals? Part one is, they are created by natural processes. Second, they have a definite chemical composition. Third, they are inoxibited. Fourth, their disturbance is uneven. So the answer is third, that is, they are inoxibited. Further, second part says, which one of the following is not a producer of mica? So the answer is, first part is, Charkhand, second, Karnataka, third, Rajasthan, fourth, Andhra Pradesh. So the answer is B, that is, Karnataka. Further, third part says, which one of the following is a leading producer of copper in the world? First, Bolivia. Second, Ghana. Third, Chile. Fourth, Zimbabwe. So the answer is C, that is Chile. Further, fourth part says, which one of the following practices will not conserve LPG in your kitchen? First, soaking the dal for some time before cooking it. Second, cooking food in a pressure cooker. Third, Keeping the vegetables chopped before lightening the gas for cooking. Fourth, cooking food in an open pan kept on low flame. So the answer is D. That is, cooking food in an open pan kept on low flame. Further moving to our question number 3 which says, give reasons. Part 1 says, environmental aspects must be carefully looked into before building huge dams. So the answer is, Building huge dams causes destabilization of the natural habitats of plants and wild animals living in the area. These environmental aspects should be looked into before building dams. Second, most industries are concentrated around coal mines. So the answer is, presence of coal mines around industries reduce the cost of transportation and also ensures easy availability of fuel. So now, fourth is, Petroleum is referred to as black gold. So the answer is, petroleum is a very valuable fossil fuel. It is used for running all machineries, transport vehicles from a bicycle to an aeroplane. 
Now, fifth is squaring can become a major environmental concern. So the answer is after querying, pits are not converted so that they may cause environmental hazards. Now, question number four says distinguish between the following. Part one says conventional source of energy and non-conventional source of energy. So let's talk about conventional source of energy first. Here, first point is. Conventional power sources are those that have been in use for a long time, whereas non-conventional power sources are those power sources that have come into use recently due to depleting conventional resources and growing awareness. Second part is examples of conventional source of energy are fossil fuels and firewood, whereas non-conventional source of energies examples are solar energy. and tidal energy now second part is we have to differentiate between biogas and natural gas so the answer is biogas is obtained from decomposition of organic waste whereas natural gas is obtained by a product from a extraction of petroleum second biogas is a renewable source whereas natural gas is a non renewable source third biogas is a non conventional source whereas natural gas is a conventional source now third is ferrous and non ferrous minerals so let's differentiate between them ferrous minerals are those containing iron whereas non ferrous minerals are those that do not contain iron ferrous minerals are magnetic whereas non ferrous minerals are non magnetic an example of ferrous mineral are iron ore whereas examples of non ferrous minerals are limestone So guys I have covered all the question of this chapter in this video I hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel agla sim schools and do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health